Hello, it's Tony Tubler, man. We're playing Tubin, the 1988 classic uh, by Atari Games for this week's Retro Tech 100 Facebook Pages 20p Arcade Challenge. The rules are simple. I have three credits this week to get through as much of the game as I possibly can. So that's two credits to start the game, one credit to continue. Basically, I get two goes. The idea of the game was simple, but the way that you do it isn't. So the simple thing is, me and a friend have got to get through as far as we can down the rapids. Um, we are the Tube Dudes. I am Biff and my friend is Jet in two-player mode. But in single-player mode, we have a ghost called Flot Sam instead of Jet who bumps into you and is generally a pain in the ass. Um, so I am sat on this rubber ring and I am scooting my way down, collecting points, going through slalom gates and dodging obstacles as we go. So what happens is basically you have a five button control layout. So playing on a controller is kind of weird. Basically you have one button for your left arm to go forward, one button for your left arm to go backward, one button for your right arm to go forward, one button for your right arm to go backward, and a throw button. So, it's essentially tank controls. You have to rotate and push both buttons forward to go in a straight line, both buttons backward to go in a straight line, tight corners, you need to do opposite buttons, and so on and so forth. And the throw button, you can pick up cans of beer and throw them at objects in, in your way. Those objects can include things like um, in Native Americans, they can be snakes, they can be fishermen, or they could even be as simple as a little stick sticking out of the river um, that you can pop pop your rubber tire on. Because trust me, it's well worth throwing your cans at those because nobody really wants a prick in their ring. It's it's just very uncomfortable indeed. So we've got three credits to get through as much of the game as we possibly can. The money's in. Let's begin. Here we go. So in practice, I've got to about the Amazon stage. I think I made it to the stage after that once. Um, score isn't really important, aside from the fact that when you get 100,000 points, you get an extra patch, and your patches are lives in this game. Uh, we're not allowed to use warps, and of course, as usual, your first recorded run is the run that you have to stick with. No going back and editing your footage or any, any dumb stuff like that. There's a patch there, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to slowly make my way down the river. Okay. Nice and easy does it. Oh, now my hand is forced. I have to go a little bit quicker. And as you can see, my... AI teammate does slow down the rate at which the screen scrolls, so sometimes you can be stuck somewhere waiting for the AI to catch up. Sometimes it will go way too quick and you'll end up hitting an obstacle um, that you weren't quite prepared for. That's just the way it goes. The game shows no mercy. A bit like my wife, really. What? Okay, we survived. Come on, get off! We scraped ourselves on a, on a hard bit of rock there, and that made life difficult. More difficult than it needed to be. There's an obstacle in my way. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. Oh, my buddy's back. Great. Yay. And now we're in American stage. Oh, I know why. So, um, on certain levels, you can choose a, a side um, of the level to go down. So, if you pick one side, uh, you go to one level off. Much like Outrun, you know, um, and if you go to the other side, you go to another level first. And your AI companion, if it hits 
that area first, they get to pick the level rather than you. You're kind of forced to go a certain direction. So we're in Okafenoki. And we've got these yokels with a blunderbuss. Trying to pop me. Pop me in my keister. Okay. Oh, and there's something. Also known as my wife. Don't get me! Don't get me! My AI is gonna kill me! Oh, that was a giant mosquito. Damn. Get out of my way! Taking the left side this time. We're in the Amazon. Flotsam is ah is getting more points than I am, I think. Ugh. Okay, moving on. Oh, I nearly didn't see that. That was lucky. we make it? Yes, we made it. We're in Argentum now. Oh no. That's my first credit down. That's such a shame, but we are at Argentum. Let's continue. Whoa. Whoa, man. Gotta watch out for these submarines, they're quite nasty. Not much I could do there. Yay! Woo! <laughs> totally too bin, man. Class 2. We're going on the Yukon Trail. We're probably going to last about 5 seconds. A bit cold to go to, man, don't you think? If they're polar bears, I'm not going to be in my shorts. So you come is done? No, 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 no! Bollocks! Ah, I thought it was done, but I was instead. Anyway, we made it to class two. Yukon. I thought I was at the end, but obviously not. I'm only halfway through, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But listen to that beautiful music. <laughs> okay. 
but there we go that is the end of my run so I'm gonna put my initials in so there we go what was the score in the end it was 116,815 that's not a bad score to be fair that's better than I was getting in practice so I'm quite happy with that oh look we can win a t-shirt we're only um, a couple of years late for that but hey ho never mind anyway I hope you've enjoyed playing 2bin with me and I hope that you join the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page it's a good crowd of people we hope we do these challenges for fun it's a good excuse to play retro games um, there's no prizes or anything like that if you win then you just get to pick next week's game it's that simple it's just bragging rights bravado uh, macho bullshit and it's great fun so please join in even if you're not macho it's fine don't worry about it we're all here to have a good time that's all this is having a good time playing video games and let's face it with lockdown what else are you gonna fucking do okay you may as well join in may as well have fun with us come and play come and play and if you think you can do well then come and beat us come and beat us kick our ass because the better the challenge the more fun we have practicing okay when there's somebody there to beat it's always more fun it gives you a goal to set yourself up for anyway I digress. I hope to see you there. Um, if not, then I will see you on the next challenge, probably next week. Until then, bye for now.